Hello, welcome to Left Undone Incomplete Investigations. I'm Catherine. I wanted to make a quick video checking in. I've been busy working on the Afterglow Unveiling the Idaho Cult podcast. With my time and resources, it's been a lot easier for me to get on there and go back and deep dive into the Vallo Daybell case. I tried to have a couple guests. It didn't really work out so well because of time constraints, mostly. Um, I, It's a lot easier for me to just finish my five-day week, work week, and then jump on over to my recording and put a recording together for Afterglow and then edit it and then get it up over the weekend, every weekend. So I have not been doing my live streams and I have not I've not been doing my live streams and I've not been making videos right now, but I am definitely still completely focused on the channel for the Afterglow. <laughs> I'm completely focused on following the Daybell case all the way to trial. So I'm trying to get caught up on the Afterglow podcast so that we can get um, up to trial and be in real time at that point. I went all the way back to Lori's youth I went back to her divorces from Joe Ryan and even Colby's father. Then I moved forward in the podcast into Charles's murder, leading up to Charles's murder, Charles's day of Charles' murder, the interviews, the audio interviews with Tylee and Lori and Alex and Melanie Gibbs interview I've got up now and I just wrapped up um, Zalema 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 which was my episode 10. Two of the episodes have more than one part five and six I believe it is and so if you're following Left Undone please consider listening to the podcast. I have them on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, all that stuff all those po podcast platforms. I do not have them uploaded on here yet. I just haven't had time to get them all uploaded because I have to make them a video instead of an audio recording. And that just takes a little bit of time. Also, I will probably be ending season one before the 1st of September and then coming back October 1st with season two, where we will, I think I will be up to the children going missing at that point. Um, I will be on vacation uh, for the first couple of weeks of September. So I just don't have time, you know, during that period of time to record. I don't want everybody to think I dropped off the face there. So I'll end season one and talk about that a little bit. But there's a lot of really good stuff from the FOIA docs and the text messages and everything to review uh, coming up on this on this. I was going to say surgery coming up on this trial. Uh, so that's why I'm checking in. Hope everybody's doing well. And let's see if there's anything else I wanted to go over before I post this. I know when things slow down in the fall, I'll be back more often with my live streams and other videos. But right now it's just been busy and a lot going on. Um, just a lot going on. I'm getting my pool in the backyard and it makes, they make a lot of noise every day. That's been going on since the first week of June. So it's hard to find time to do a video and record right now. It's Sunday. So I was able to quietly make a little video for you right now that I'm doing. Other than that, if you know anybody that has any expertise on the Daybell case that would like to come on to Afterglow as a co-host for an episode or a guest, I would be, I would love that um, as well. It's getting some good reviews and some good plays and I work really hard on it. So you guys being my 15,000 subs here on Left Undone, I think you would really appreciate it. And you can multitask when you're listening to a podcast. You don't have to watch it. You can just put in your earbuds or put it on and walk around and clean your house or go to the store, whatever you have to do. I love podcasts. I put them on when I'm driving. I put them on when I'm in the car for other things. Well, driving, that's usually what you're doing in the car. 
I put them on when I'm cleaning. I put them on when I don't want to hear my mom's TV blasting. In the other room. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I have not been videoing myself because I'm just, I just haven't had time. I feel like to make a, a live stream, I need to like get my makeup on. And I know this is just me. This is just my problem. My first world problems here, but I don't like to just pop on without having my background all my dogs calm all but a lot doesn't usually go well um and my mom tucked away in her room uh, you know stuff like that so and my makeup on like i said and my lighting right and oh i know i should not worry about stuff like that because nobody really cares but i care so um also my travel channel i posted a couple things over there lately with things i've done locally uh, I, that will be following my Greece trip in September. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'd be great if you go over there and subscribe. I really need to get that channel monetized. Um, I'm not making anything right now on YouTube. I don't know what happened. I'm, I still see a lot of ads, but it's literally nothing like peanuts um, and all the subscriptions like the stream yard and everything that I have. Um, it'd be nice to at least have enough you know, income off of YouTube to pay for my expenses. If that makes sense. I'm certainly not quitting my day job. So if you do, if you don't mind, it's called Beyond the Empty Nest. And it is a travel vlog podcast. And I put my old Greece stuff up, my Hawaii, and then local stuff. And then I will be following myself to Greece on that one big time. We are going to Athens, Santorini. Milos and Paros. Those are all islands in the Sclades where Santorini is. And that's the part of Greece I haven't been to. I was at the Ionian side last time. So I miss y'all. I know I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm just a flake on this, but it's not that I'm flaking. I'm just busy doing the podcast, which is still the exact same thing. It's just audio and it's on a different platform. And I really appreciate it if you are watching it listening to it I should say please give me the stars there were a couple of crappy reviews some of them were just like people that user error one person said that we sounded like chipmunks um there is a setting on your apple I don't know if it's on all of them but it's on my phone my podcast where you can make people talk faster you can go one and a half times two times whatever and one time I accidentally put that on I was like why is this podcaster talking so fast I figured out it was my fault I had hit that so I'm pretty sure that one of my one star ratings is somebody that user error said they couldn't get through it because we were talking like so fast like chipmunks I'm guaranteed that's what went on that was user error so I'm trying to balance some of those stupid reviews that aren't really a good review because they just take away my stars based on incorrect information and a lot of the older reviews on there I just had turned it from the left undone podcast to after afterglow podcast because I had stopped doing the podcast a while back and then restarted. So there's some old stuff on there that really is from when I was dropping my original, original, original left undone audios into there without editing them. So there's blank spots because, you know, the original audios, there's a lot of photos and video pictures and stuff like that. So people didn't understand that. So I got some bad ratings, but most of the ratings have been great. Most of them are five stars. It, I don't know why it's not being shared or, uh, or when I put in um, true crime on Apple, it doesn't pop up. It only pops up. It doesn't pop up even when I put Lori Vallow, Chad Daybell. I don't know why. I'm, I'm probably doing something wrong. Um, I did put tags in there and everything else, but it doesn't. So you have to put in unveiling the Idaho Colts. All righty, then I am going to post this and peace out. I will talk to you all soon. And um, the there's cases that I'm following from afar. Um, the Dylan Rounds case, it got to be too much of a circus on YouTube. So I did not get involved in that. I mean, I see creators going after creators over it. I just can't. That's the one thing that really turns me off on YouTube is the people attacking people. Um, 
So that one, and I did see an update on Michael Vaughn. They did a press conference. They are looking for somebody that hasn't come forward. That was a picture of on their website. Um, they said it's just a person of interest that might have some information that was in the park close by during that period of time when he was missing. He's been gone for a year. And um, they do feel like, and it was an abduction. So a lot of people have, you know, when I'm, when I do videos on that, or when I talk about that, people are like, it's the dad, he looks guilty, blah, blah, blah. And I just don't like that. I mean, I know we wound up with the Wests going to jail, um, which should be interesting trial. I'm interested in that, but I have not been super focused on it. I'm pretty sure it's coming up. I hope I didn't miss anything. I would have heard uh, because that one, I was not thinking the West. I really was, I guess I was wrong. I don't know. We'll see what comes out in trial because I'd like to know what kind of evidence they have. So I'm still flabbergasted that that became the outcome. But, you know, we can't be right 100% of the time. Can we? Um, and I have not been able to just deep dive into anything brand new or old lately. Work is busy, 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 busy. And, you know, when you go to work, Monday through Friday, it's sort of, you know, I'm staring at a computer because I'm remote and I'm working on a computer all day. It's really, my eyes need a break sometimes. So I can't stare at this at the same time. So that's all. Thanks for being here. I didn't want to do this as a live stream because I didn't want to get distracted right now. I have some things to do today and I will talk to you all soon. Be safe, stay well, and thanks for checking in with me. 